What up? We're hanging out at Zach's studio. You gotta check this thing out, it's awesome. So I need to like learn it and then, and then record it at twice the twice speed. Twice the speed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you, do you think it should be more melodic than that? It'd be like more like a seven, eight, six, seven, eight, three, four. So like that maybe would be more interesting than just playing like pad type things. I don't know. I kind of like the pad. Cause his will be more. Cause his is still, it's still, it's still, it's still moving a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. <clears throat> Getting Let's wacky with some tape. Tick. No, I probably need it to be on the right track. It's uh, Amateur Recording 101. <laughs> okay, here we go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I actually did record the real audio. So I guess if you want to pass through of the tape machine. <laughs> there. There we go. Let's hear it play. I didn't do it right. <laughs> I don't think I actually recorded, or if I did, I didn't record. Because that should be there. Okay, Boomer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't get my tape machine to work. Okay, so I gotta rewind it just a second. Just a little bit. We'll get a recording of it. Okay. Here we go. Alright, I'm good. Hold on, actually. I unplugged it because of uh, oh, just the right. hiss, so I didn't have to hear it. So the hiss is supposed to be there. So instead of a J37 plug-in, we have a tape player routed through a mixer, taped out into our interface. Mad f***ing scientist. <laughs> After we recorded on a 4-track, so that when it got played back, it got played back at half speed in a regular tape machine. Awesome. All right, let's see. Let's here we, yeah, here we go. I should find it's the first That's one. The first one. Yeah, the second one's what we want. There it is. That's it. That's the <laughs> one we want. Yes. Yes. Could we have done it with modern technology? Yes. One plug-in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but does it sound more real if you do it this way? Also, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we have the cross DJ here manipulating the sample of a reverse symbol because we can. Super easy to do in the box. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> let's, let's plug in my laptop to my desktop. I think that's it. That's sweet. So you might have to like chop it up to that. Okay. I'm gonna do like a few practice runs. Sure. Okay, let me set up that loop then. Wait, why is my thing not moving? It was moving. Oh, there we go. That one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, try, try it a few times. No, no, I totally right. Well, you, I mean, you don't necessarily have to do it to the actual tracks. So I think we could place it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You want to do it that way? Yeah, let's just do it that way. Let's record it then. Put it in the right spot, Nate. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. But uh, the, like the, this, Third and fourth one were my favorites, I think. Okay, let's mess with those. Let's put that one. Let's put that one. Let's put that one. Let's put that one. In. <laughs> That's cool. We can mute it real quick. Or I uh, solo it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Got a lot of work done tonight and we cannot wait to show you all the cool stuff we got done.